I'm going to talk you through the seven different dry angles that are available from Windsor & Newton for oil painting. I'm going to show you the different characteristics of each oil and the benefits of each oil. First of all, I'd like to talk you through cold pressed linseed oil. Now this is the closest linseed oil to the oil that the old masters would have used. It's a uh, slightly yellow oil which is extracted without the use of heat. It will reduce the consistency and improve the flow and increase gloss and transparency whilst reducing brush stroke marks. You can actually reduce this with turpentine or a white spirit. This cold pressed linseed oil dries slightly quicker than the refined linseed oil that I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so now let's look at bleached linseed oil. This is a substitute for sun bleached linseed oil. It's a refined pale oil of slightly increased viscosity which will improve the flow and transparency of colours and dry slightly faster than refined linseed oil. This oil is slightly paler and thinner than thickened linseed oil, therefore it's useful for whites and pale colours and it actually dries a little bit slower than the thickened linseed oil. So here is that thickened linseed oil. This is a modern equivalent to some thickened linseed oil and in fact is incredibly chemically similar. So I pour this out, you can instantly see that it's more syrupy, more viscous in feel. This speeds up drying time even more than bleached linseed oil. This oil behaves like a linseed stand oil, but in fact dries quicker and darker. This drying linseed oil is the fastest drying of all the oils offered here. It's a mix of linseed oil and a traditional dryer which promotes fastest drying rate of all the oils seen. So the thing to remember with the drying linseed oil is that it's the fastest drying and will improve the gloss. Refined linseed oil is the most popular oil and is the purest form of linseed oil. It has the same qualities as the cold pressed linseed oil here, but it's slower drying. It reduces oil colour consistency and increases the gloss and transparency. It can be viewed as the workhorse of your oil range. All the other oils being slight variants of this will give you different viscosities, different glosses and different drying rates. For day to day use, refined linseed oil is the best one to use. Next up is the linseed stand oil. This oil is in fact too thick to be used solely with oil colour and requires thinning to make it flow. To do this, thin at least one to one with terps, artist white spirit or a low odour solvent such as Sansador. The linseed stand oil slows the drying time and imparts a tough elastic finish to the dried colour. It's particularly good for glazing and fine detail work. Last up, the drying poppy oil. This is made from poppy seeds with the addition of a drying agent. This is in fact the palest of the oils available here. As you can see. Which makes it particularly good for whites and paler colours where the yellow of say the refined linseed oil or the drying linseed oil is going to cause you a problem. So that's all seven oils covered now. Hopefully I've been able to explain the variations in each oil and how you can use those variations to achieve different effects during your oil painting. It's also worth noting that all of these oils can in fact be thinned with terps, artist white spirit and sansador. I wish you luck in trying all of these out.